Alright, and there's more archers. Of course there are. Where wouldn't there be? Mmm, and they lit my guys on fire. Mmm. Ah, you guys are so stupid. Okay, get your wolves. And yeah, we can easily take that out. Get the archers. They're by far the most annoying thing. Hit them. Or, you know, I could just do the work for you. It's not like your minions or anything. Ah, shit, get out of the bush. Idiots, they're gonna burn. Mmm, this, you know, this epic conquering isn't, isn't, you know, going as smooth as I'd like it to. Dead. Alright, good, at least we're getting armor. We're not really going to face any obstacles in here, considering the villagers are these people. Mmm, yeah, you think taking out the bridge is going to stop me? Well, that's a stupid idea. Just go... Not this way, mmm. Lol, that was a joke. As long as we can stop them from continuously throwing the fireworks, then the Browns can go in and get them. Stupid lady. She thinks she can hurt us. That's a dumb idea. Alright, I don't think there's anything of value to be pillaged here. Hmm. That's a dumb idea, lady. Did you see what happened to your girlfriend over there? Same thing that's gonna happen to your boyfriend, too. Die! Alright, there's Boreas over there. You've spoiled my midwinter's eve. We'll see what Empress Larius has to say about this. Oh yeah, because you're totally gonna get to tell him, right? Larius, my brother! Where did you suddenly come from? Empress Larius is very concerned, brother, that you allow Nordberg to be most violently raided by a magical barbarian. Uh, the situation is under control, Marius. I prefer I'm a mystical tyrant. Well, they better had to. You were sent here to prove yourself as a governor. And show you've got a backbone beneath that blubber. He hasn't. It's blubber all the way through. Why, hello there. Oh, come on, you're always perverted now. Give me a chance, damn it. I like how casually those guys are sitting over there. I'm beating the shit out of a statue, not even a, not even an inch away from me. Oh, these guys are brave. Hmm. I suppose I won't kill them when when I've conquered this place. Hmm. Perfect. And we can't jump down there. Ugh, gotta go around. Wow, this one woman. I'm the friggin' overlord, and this one woman thinks that it's this is gonna be her day. She thinks that she's gonna stop me. This is just this is the day she's gonna get me with her fireworks. Yep. Genius plan, honestly. Dead. Oh, 
guys are running out of troops, aren't you, when you're sending in legions of three. Did you did you not see how I raped the shit out of your medium guard not not even five minutes ago? No? Hmm. Dumber than I thought. Yep, these two lone guards, this is gonna be their day. Crush him! Crush him! It's almost time for my lunchtime bath! Honestly, Boreas, I thought you could handle governorship of one tiny town. This is my town, and I am not at home to demons. Shit. Ah, they got one of me. Hmm. I could just wait. That is quite a lot of arrows. Mmm, you hit me right in the face. That's inappropriate. Alright, everybody. I lost. Who did I lose? At least it's not a red. I don't know what you mean, Barrios. You did. Just because you knew Salavius favored me. You blubbery fool. No wonder Mama left. Don't you bring Mama into this. That's it. I'm not speaking to you. Fine. Fine. Ah, no. That's not Boreas, the statue. There. Okay, do I have to manually do this? Ugh. Actual work. Oh, come on, that landed on his face. How is he still alive? Witch boy? Witch boy, is it really you? You came back! Get me out of here before he makes me start scrubbing again. Taking condition! What? How dare you? You have insulted the Emperor and my family. This will not go unpunished. Mark my words. If you say so. Considering the Empire condemns magic, that looked awfully magical to me. <sighs> Get me out of here, slave! Get me out at once! <sighs> no way! Even your crevices have crevices! Yuck! What are you going to do with this ball of lard, sire? Hmm... No, we can't enslave him. Looks like we gotta kill him. Life force. Ugh. Hello. I'll get to you in a moment. You know, I want to see bits of the world that aren't covered in snow. How about you and I get reacquainted? You can see bits of Perfect. my world. Think we can steal his shoes? I was once crushed by a big statue, you know, back in the day. Not completely, obviously. Eat him. Eat him. Eating the eyeballs of a dryad will make your spleen explode. Interesting. At last. A dark tower truly worthy of you, Master. So this is your place, huh? Well, it certainly beats Nordberg. It's warm for a start. I'm not sure about this thing, though. What is it? Some kind of walnut with ears. <laughs> Perhaps you and your new mystery should visit the private quarters. Great. I'm going to see where my fur rugs and hunting souvenirs will go. I shall meet you up there, witch boy. Indeed. I suggest using some of that gold of yours to buy her a few delightful knickknacks for the private quarters. Ladies like knickknacks. I gotta be honest. No. That's probably one of my favorite things Narl ever says. Just because of the whole phrase "ladies like knickknacks" and the way he says knickknacks. It's funny. I put some of your little friends to work. They're strong and seem to be able to think and move at the same time. 
which puts them well above the average Norbergian. The place is becoming a little more fitting now. People should think dark, evil overlord, rather than cave troll. Still needs work, though. I've sketched out a few upgrades, but you'll need to dig into your pockets a little. A bed would be a good start. Make me feel a little more relaxed. You don't snore, do you? Indeed. And the minions will talk, too. If I was a minion, I'd peek. Let's see what else they say. They actually say really funny things. I no say nothing. <laughs> we serve your first mistress. Indeed. Uh, where is the upgrade room? Ugh, I missed it. This is the treasure room, which is not very full of anything, actually. Right, now that we have a mistress, we can actually upgrade our tower. And depending on which mistress we have, we can do different upgrades. Currently we only have one, so really not much. Interesting how she asked for a bed, but... I've always wanted one of... Overlord Banner. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I kind of like the Overlord Banner. You know, she asked for a bed, but I can't get her one yet. It's kind of a strange thing to ask. Right, so I conquered Nordberg. I have taken a delightful lady. Um, interesting fun fact. Between all of the mistresses that you get throughout this game, she is the only one that truly cares about the Overlord. Um, all the mistresses that you get are really quite different in personalities and looks and appearance. Just overall, they're all different in their own unique way. But Kelta here... I bet you could do anything with that army of yours. I bet mm. you will, too. Yes, but, uh... Okay, shut up. She's the only one that truly cares about the Overlord as a person, and not simply his strength or money or... or anything else. She, she actually cares about him. So, canonly, I would assume that just as in the first game where the first overlord picked Rose, the character who cared most about him as his mistress to have his child with, I assume this overlord would probably pick Kelta. At least I would hope so. Uh, considering he is pretty much a teenager, he's, what is he, he's in his 20s, this overlord. He's a lot hornier than the other ones, so maybe he'll be stupid and pick the other ones. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Depends on what they do for number three, you know, whenever that amazing game comes out. But yes, uh, that is that is all for today. I will see you guys on the next episode when we continue in the story. See you guys next time.